so this is a video about the standard operating procedure about the backup strategies and all that what you should do and what you shouldn't first advice never ever keep anything on c drive okay keeping anything on system location is a blunder i won't recommend that so in my scenario i have created a um, separate c drive for system files 121 gb out of 199 is uh, uh, used uh, sorry free and this is my system location everything is installed here all the softwares i i push it on this drive particularly second drive is the uh, oracle drive it's empty because i've recently enough taken all all my backup of my oracle stuff here somewhere else scans is my personal stuff okay all the scans all the uh, whatever i need i mean you can literally put anything in here so this is what i uh, i have um, um plugged in this hub it sticked on my computer desk and you just plug this hub and make sure you are ordering a hub with the buttons because you don't want your hard hard drive to be accessible all the time unless you it's on it's a cloud hard drive which is centralized location in somewhere in your home and you have your private cloud where you can put your photos without even connecting using wi-fi i used to have that i still have that but i use don't use that anymore uh, less is a hard disk uh, caters that need Lacy uh, L A C I E is the company name. Uh, it comes with a remote. You can use it as a multimedia drive. For example, you have movies in that hard disk. You can plug it in your TV and you can watch straight away from there. You can stream your movies directly by plugging your hard disk. But uh, um, this video is not about about that. This video is about how I backup, what backup strategies I do. So four terabyte, four terabyte and five terabyte are the sync copies of each other. every photo of every mobile six mobiles we have in home for example all the six mobiles quarterly i take backup in four number drive five number so they are the copies of my photos photos and videos are the most critical things you lose movies you don't need to copy you can download the movie again or you can buy the movie again right software doesn't matter if whole hard disk is corrupted and guys hard disks get corrupted very often don't think your hard disk will never get corrupted okay they will get there the end of the day it's a machine and it's a very simple mechanism you drop it if your hard disk is not the rugged you going to lose it so hard hard disks are something very prone to uh, shocks and other things so don't consider that's why i'm saying the backup strategy should be your photos must reside on two locations as well as on cloud for example you are going on a trip and in that trip you clicked 1200 photographs but out of 1200 photographs there are only 50 photographs which are critical in nature which you would bother about to print out them okay these are the photos which i'm talking about which which you would be really printing them out so 1200 photos are junk basically you give camera to a child and there will be not 1200 photos there will be 2500 photos they'll they'll do clicks every seconds you see all photos are not important so keep the only good photos one for one location you have taken 30 photos only one photo is advisable which is good for print out choose the best one delete all of them delete all the junk uh you would notice eventually that out the 4 terabyte of data actually is not 4 terabyte at actually it is only in gbs not even in terabytes because everything else is a junk so first thing is clean up before you uploading the photos here make sure from your camera from your camera whatever slr camera or mobile phones delete all the corrupted photos delete all the junk photos okay duplicate photos put the photo here do not cut paste copy it here copy it here from here to here copy it first here then here then format your memory card from your mobile rather than cut pasting okay several reasons i want uh, lengthy this video more about the explanation why you can google it around why i am saying this strategy always copy paste in one then from first location to second location copy paste internally and format your card or format your memory card phone memory card or whatever movies i never take backups this is a 1 terabyte hard disk i never take backups software never take backups only these two uh, now my critical photos which i'm talking about out of 12 photo 1200 photographs in a trip you going switzerland iceland anywhere you taken 1200 photographs in 4 days only 80 photographs which are the which are the photographs you can't afford to lose them okay you can afford to lose them 1200 photos but out of that 80 photos you cannot afford to lose them you put it on a cloud which is not in your home which is accessible from anywhere okay you buy a google drive you buy anything you there are several cloud options you can put it there you can make your own public pri uh, private cloud as well in your home uh, and you can put those photos there on which are accessible on wifi 
or you can create another copy now this one and this one for example so i have, I have plugged in my photos copies okay four terabyte five terabyte these are my photocopies and this thing never budge because i have pasted it on my on my office table you see this is my office table so this thing is this thing i only plug it in when i need them so these are the hard disks visible four terabyte five terabyte rohit hard disk scans these are the critical things photos are criticals other pics phone pics slr pics i'm not showing you five terabyte because this is the exactly duplicate copy of the four four terabyte rohit hard disk so this is what my strategy is okay you can develop your own strategy but make sure you have a backup plan if one hard disk is very rare scenario will come when your both hard disks are not working both are corrupted in such scenarios i'm saying you put your photos on cloud be that a paid cloud be that a annual subscription you cannot afford to lose your photos you cannot afford to lose your videos so critical videos you have to take backups okay for my particular photos i have taken backup in four different locations two hard disk here and two two different places so one is one backup i always keep on cloud as well so within the within the photos folder i have created like other pics phone pics slr pics within phone pics i have created four folders okay by the names joy komal khaina rohit so this is what it's in within my folder i have created by year i created by year and all that okay um i hope uh, this is a very is like you is not a fully fledged backup strategy but it is something to save you from a nightmare on a gfi you see because you drop a hard disk if it's not if it's like this naked you drop it for here and it will be dead in no time uh, that's that's why i recommend people who are ordering either order a normal hard disk but order a rugged case for that separately rugged case is a thick case this thick this thick case you put your hard disk in that rugged case so if you drop it shock proof and all that uh, you'll never lose your hard disk but if your hard disk is naked make sure it you are not removing it you are not putting it in a bag on a college bag or going somewhere i have stick this in nobody is allowed to touch this place under the the panel under where my laptops and all everything is sitting so this is what it looks like if i show you from here so that particular panel that particular panel you are not allowed anything under underneath that even i don't touch that often so everything here are my hard disk critical stuff which i don't want anybody to access because the more you will take it in a transportation or the putting in a school bag college bag and th there are more chances to get it um if you if you don't want to worry about those things you order the lazy one rugged hard disks okay Le every company do that the price prices will be uh, hefty obviously 30 40 pounds more but if you put rugged hard disks rugged hard disks so lassi is a rugged hard disk is pretty pretty good really really nice really nice drop proof waterproof and all that proof i mean you think about that perspective you can't afford to for bbc people okay they put the hard disk under the drone they capture 8 hours video 20 hours video likewise nasa in the space station in the space uh, stations they can't afford to lose even one single photograph okay so what they do they use the similar sort of things snow devices they use snow devices by aws these are the 100% rugged waterproof fireproof all that so within the snow cone snow cone and all that there are three products basically aws do snow mobile snow cone snow ball okay snow ball i want talk about these big things because you you don't need these things for for what you call them um, um for a normal um, personal use okay they are for business but i'm just giving you a overhead about the rugged the the kind of things are available in market aws snow cone is a rugged hard disk which you can literally put it under your drone under your drone to capture videos worth of terabytes and you can send this hard disk anywhere in, i mean you send it underwater you send it in sky you send it anywhere it is rugged rugged means it is snow proof waterproof dust proof what do you call grit proof and what do you call um, it's even fireproof 
I, I'm not sure if this particular one is, but it should be fireproof. One of these snow devices is fireproof. I don't know which one. Probably this one. So you don't need this one unless you are using it for business reasons. They are super duper expensive machines. Super duper expensive hard disks. You can literally different uses. You know, BBC use it a lot. NASA use it a lot. Or business people use it a lot. And size wise, you can put it in a bag. It's so small. It's tiny. Snow cone is a tiny device. But personal reasons for family for within the within the five terabyte one twenty eight good value for money. Really nice. So that's all about my backup strategies. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Cheers, guys.